I want to thank you very much for having me here on Cultural Arts Day for Spain. October 12th, 1492, was a day that greatly changed the world. At that time, two great mass land, land masses, North and South America and Europe, were reunited after being apart for almost 100 million years. The changes that happened because of this, of Columbus's voyage, are un almost unmentionable how many they are. I'm going to go over with you today a few of the positive things that Columbus and the Spanish explorers brought over to the New World, and I'm also going to show some of the things they brought back. Now, what Columbus brought over with him? The horse. Ah, yes. Very impressive for most of the Native Americans. Mostly because there was a Spanish soldier on each one. Very impressive. The horse became the major means of transportation on the North and South American continent for the next hundreds of years. Horse is good. Ah, the pig. Ah, yes, the pig. The Columbus and uh, all the explorers that came brought pigs with them, and they had herds of pigs follow them around on their little uh, explorations around to find gold. There, you know, and they had pigs to feed them, and these were greatly uh, taken up by the Americans and the American, the Native Americans, and uh, you know, like um, without the pig, there's no chicharrones, no chorizos, no barbecue ribs. Things are good. The sheep. Mm, they brought a lot of sheep over. Uh, they used to be more important because people used to like to eat this stuff. Now, eh, I'll put them in some place. No sheep. He's good, but you know, we don't need him anymore. The banana. Oh. See, most of you probably think the banana comes from in the uh, Caribbean. No, no. This was brought over by... Uh, Probably Columbus, right about in the 15, 15 20 years, after the second or third voyage. And it comes from uh, Indonesia. And it was brought, it took very good to the climate of uh, the Indies and the West Indies, as they call it, the Caribbean. And that was a big staple crop down there. Ah, the cow. This also was something very important that they brought over. There were none of these here before. So the cow provides great milk for us, cheese. Ice cream, wouldn't have that if they didn't bring this over. Very important. We eat a lot of beef. Oh, we'd probably be eating right now. What are these? You guys would be out there eating moose burgers and like uh, armadillo and who knows what else. And no Big Mac. Cow's good. Metal, steel. Yes, they brought over. Steel, which was very good, it was implemented for the use of uh, farm implements and for knives and, and hatchets, for making all kinds of good things. Imagine trying to cut your moose burger with this. Not with a minute. Now I can go some of the things that maybe we done, maybe we definitely came back the other way. Corn. Corn was developed in Lower Mexico 6,000 years ago. They didn't have it in Europe, mm -mm. but they took it back. And within a hundred years of going back over across this, the Atlantic, it got as far as China, and it's one of the most stable food sources in South Africa yet today. And everybody knows how good corn is. And if you went to the show in Spain before Columbus, no popcorn. And no popcorns are bad. But even worse, no hot Cheetos. Yes, corn's a good thing. Potatoes, ah. Columbus didn't discover these. They come a little bit later, about 40 years, from the mountains down in Peru, and they were kind of prospecting for gold down there. And they found these. And uh, the potato uh, was much taken back more in Northern Europe, and uh, like Scandinavia, Ireland, and up there, and became a staple food crop in Northern Ireland, Ireland especially. And it allowed for a great population boom over here, actually. And they say this is one of the primary causes of the Industrial Revolution, was how many people were able to sustain on the uh, potato. Unfortunately, in 1845, there was a potato blight, and all the Irish moved over here. But that was all right. Yeah, we'd welcome them. They're fun. 
where else would you find them? Uh, tomatoes! Yes, tomatoes came from down in South America and were taken up very good in Italy. Maybe that. Can you imagine uh, Italy with no pizza? They wouldn't have it. They wouldn't have any tomato sauce. They wouldn't have spaghetti. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, oh, whole grain. That wheat, that came the other way, though. Ah, that. We missed that. Whole grain, wheat came from Europe over here. But now we have that. But without that, we wouldn't have the Big Mac. So we need that. And then, the chicken. Now, the chicken tried to fool me. He tried to make believe that he was from South America. But I figured it out. The chicken came from Southeast Asia. So he's an imposter. Impasta chicken. You know what we do? With impasta chickens, we string them up and we put them in the pot and cook. What's this? What is this? Yeah. 